I'd like to introduce you to a feature that's going to allow you to type in data across multiple sheets at the same time. Now, where this might be useful is if you're setting up a spreadsheet and you need to have the same headings or same row headings or column headings across multiple sheets before you actually put in individualized data. Now, in order to do this, we need to know a couple of things. Uh, one would be how to select a range of sheets as well as just individual sheets in your workbook. So let me show you how you can enter data across sheets. Now, where you might want to do this is, let's say the headings are going to be the same across multiple sheets that you have, and you haven't yet typed in any data. Now, of course, I realize copy and paste could work rather nicely, but what if I need to type this across 50 sheets? Okay, I don't want to have to copy and paste something 50 times. So this can be quite a useful feature. And what it is directly related to is the ability to select multiple sheets. So I would like to type in some headings right now that are going to appear on Jan sales, Feb sales, and March sales. And I want to do it in one step. It's almost like carbon paper, kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those sheets. So if I click on Jan sales, it selects Jan sales. And then you could use your control key if you want to do. And hold control, I'm going to click on Feb sales. Still holding control, I'm going to click on March sales. Now, it might be kind of hard to see, but those have gone a different color, indicating they are selected. They're not grayed out anymore, they're white. Now, if you wanted to do a range, because I realize that holding control and clicking on 50 sheets might not be the most efficient thing to do, you can also select a range. So if I click on Jan sales, and then simply hold shift, and click on March sales, it will select every sheet from January sales to March sales in one go. So we could also use that. So the key here is selecting what sheets you would like this information to be seen on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply start typing into a cell. So in A1, let's say I'm going to put a title of sales. And then I'm going to type out some names of some salespeople that we have here. Okay. I'm also going to type in some headings, let's say. Okay, now we could of course take this even further and add in formulas that are going to be the same across all these sheets. We could add in formatting that's going to be the same across all these sheets. For now, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, I have typed this in on my Jan sales sheet. However, I wanted the same information to appear on Feb sales and March sales, and in fact, it has done that for me because they were selected. So let me go ahead and deselect the sheets. I'm just going to click on the summary one to deselect them. You'll notice that if I go check now, there's Jan sales with the information, which we would expect because that's the sheet we were on. But if I go to Feb sales, that same information is there. If I go to March sales, again, that same information is there. So it's almost like carbon paper. You enter the data in once, however, it appears on any sheets that you would have selected. Now, in our example video there, we just discussed entering in labels. And as you saw in the video, it entered those labels across all the sheets you had selected. What you also want to keep in mind is if you had potentially a column for a total or an average or a minimum or maximum value, you can also put in formulas with those sheets selected to have the formulas entered in across all of those selected sheets.